Welcome back, my new light bulbs, to another Jujutsu Kaisen live reaction. If you're new here to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. Yes, the camera quality is different because uh, I'm using my new iPhone camera instead of using my webcam. So the quality should be way better. And here I have a friend with me for the live reaction, my boy Pikachu. This is Pikachu from Japan. I specifically got this Pikachu in Japan last year. It was so cool, I could not pass it up. Even Pikachu smiling. Now, I saw on Twitter, the trending thing was literally Gojo. I did not click on it. Then on Twitter earlier this week, people were talking about Gojo. Do I want Gojo to come back? No, not really. His death was good. I do not want him to come back. He's a great character. He's a top, uh, top fan character as well i forgot the tier list i think he was top three so fans love him i think in that tier list uh megumi oh it's not a tier list sorry the popularity poll in japan that they did last the last one for Jujutsu kaisen he was rank number like two or three something like that megumi was rank number one okay we have toto oh no he did he does not have an artificial arm Oh, I thought they gave him like a robotic arm or something, but he doesn't. He has like some, what is that? Like some, <laughs> he has something. It looks like, you know, the, the drum thing, the little ball thing where you, on the bottom of the drums, when you, you, you press it with your foot and it hits the drum like this or something. That's what it looks like. Boogie Woogie Revised. Okay. That is a vibra slap is a percussion instrument consistent of a ball connected to a wooden box with metal pieces inside the player taps the ball to the rattle the metal thereby generating a unique sound okay so okay he needs to do boogie woogie he has to just like slap his hands together and stuff i don't know why i, just, I, I actually slapped my hands i just want, I meant to do this but with this instrument i guess his boogie woogie is revised and he can still do it which is fine because toto is a very strong character um let me go to jujutsu kaisen curses tears okay the different grade of curses just real quick plus i i i know you enjoy the long i enjoy watching long videos i don't know maybe not everybody likes enjoy watching long videos but i do because sometimes i'll be bored and i'm gaming and doing something i'm like i need something to listen to in the background okay so we have special grade grade one grade two grade three total definitely i could i i do see um him fighting on special grade level but sukuna the thing with sukuna is sukuna is beyond special grade sukuna is like he's on his own tier Okay, that is. So both Yuji and Sukuna realized that Toto could do boogie woogie, like they have these shock uh, looks, and Sukuna realizes that as well because Sukuna has been within Yuji all this time. So a lot of the information that Yuji has retained, Sukuna knows as well, and that is why in last week's chapter, Toto uh, told Mei Mei not to, you know, tell Yuji about certain parts of the plan because some way somehow maybe sukuna's connection with yuji still to the point where even he might figure out okay this is the, the next step of the plan okay 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 so the way he activates it he hits the ball of the instrument so it's basically yeah he he does this boom and activates the boogie woogie and boogie woogie allows him to switch places with people i believe let's see Um, let me go to the Jujutsu Kaisen wiki real quick. Okay. It allows him to swap the orientation of anything, <laughs> bro, with enough re requisite curse energy by clapping. Of anything. Okay. Yeah. Anything. Okay. Let's see. So he hits it. Total replaces his lost left hand with a vibra slap or V-verse slap, it's probably pronounced V-verse slap, and change the condition for activating Boogie Woogie from a clap to a metal piece hitting a wooden box. This way he became able to perform approximately 50 position swaps per second. 50 position swaps per second, okay. So he hits it, I guess. Sukuna, 
Toto and I are continually switching places. Okay, so he keeps hitting it, okay. As if on a roulette wheel. Let's see what he's gonna do because of that. I'm looking at the panels closely because sometimes you're reading and you're like, oh, I missed something in the panel. Okay. Okay, so he hits it. So Toto is behind Sukuna, facing opposite of Sukuna. Yuji is in front of Sukuna and Sukuna is in front of Yuji. And Sukuna, one of his um, fists has cursed energy all around it and stuff. Okay. But Toto is about to hit the Boogie Woogie one more time. Unless Sukuna turns around really fast and stop. Oh, wait, wait. But Sukuna, some of his, um, I forgot. Some of his hands, he has no hands on his left left arms. Oh, no, he doesn't hit the Boogie Woogie again. He actually turns around and kicks Sukuna. And then Yuji hits him, Sukuna, in the stomach. It's not a black flash, though. It's a regular punch. So it's not going to do as much damage. But we already know, like, the teamwork of Yuji and total is very impressive so i'm actually really happy to see them the pair up again uh once again last week's chapter i do have to say to rest in peace to our boy chozo chozo one of my favorite characters in the series and i definitely do think one of the favorite characters of one of the viewers um which i'm actually gonna go to i'm gonna see if i could go to the comments of that video real quick because i want to give them a little shout out you know because they have the Choso profile, Choso profile picture, which is cool. Oh, I, I, for, I even forgot to reply to the comment. Uh, it's Choso Kamo. Yeah, like Choso is such a great character. We did not forget about him. Him and Yuji fighting together was cool. Uh, the combination, you know, big brother and little brother. And now we have, you could say false brother and other brother. They're basically brothers, not by blood, Toto and Yuji, but they work really really well together and i'm really happy about that somebody in the comment section below what was the last fight that yuji and total fought together because i don't really remember i'm trying to i don't really remember to tell you the truth i know they fought a cursed spirit i believe the last time okay so they hit sukuna sukuna takes some damage he's bleeding and stuff furthermore by entering a binding vow limiting the number of swaps okay so total used the binding vow as well Limiting the number of swaps per strike on the Vibra slab, Toto can select multiple curse technique targets and expand the effective range by limiting the number of swaps. Okay, so less swaps, but he has more. He can select more targets and expand expand the range of the targets he selects. Okay, with Okotsu's help, he adjusted his curse technique in Lake Gosho Colony, then helped his peers inside Malevolent Shrine escape the domain and get away from the center of the destruction. Okay, so total help with the escape as well, which is really good because when Sukuna did that domain expansion and had everything basically blowing up, uh, anybody in that radius would have died. Yuji only survived because of Cho, so we know that already. Uh, so yeah, this is awesome. Like the characters just keep improving. They're not just, oh, I have this curse technique. I'm not gonna change it. No, their characters actually refining their curse techniques and shout out to Okotsu, aka Yuta, for actually helping out Toto refine his technique even further. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's see. Obviously, Sukuna is not going down just by those hits, but let's see what's going to happen now. Among sorcerers, the one goes, goes about things his own way, at his own pace, which makes him difficult to beat down. To be honest, she showed up at the worst time. Oh, I'm guessing this is Sukuna thinking this. Among sorcerers, this one goes about, yeah, things about his own way, at his own pace, which makes him difficult to beat down. To be honest, he showed up at the worst time. That's good. Toto showed up because, dude, you're broken. <laughs> he, <laughs> let's see. Plus, the like I said, the coronation between Yuji and Toto is great. Let's see what Sukuna does now. Okay, Toto did not use Boogie Woogie here. Sukuna's coming towards them okay toto is in a fighting stance with one of his legs up I'm trying to see what he's gonna do he, no he i thought he kicked i thought he kicked the rock towards him because there's a little thing he jumped in midair it doesn't matter that i don't know how i just need to know that he can let me go back let me go back to the other panel Okay, okay, total jump. Okay, total jumped in midair. 
to land where Sukuna was at. Okay. And then we have Yuji. Okay, Yuji has some curse energy on his right right fist. Okay. So it's gonna be the punch is gonna be reinforced, which is good. Oh no 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 no! He he, he actually grabbed the rock. He grabbed the rock, re reinforced it with curse energy, and it's gonna throw it at Sukuna. However, even if Sukuna dodges. If Toto uses Boogie Woogie, he could redirect the, the the rock, the Curse Energy rock, back to Sukuna. Or switch the position of Sukuna after Sukuna dodges so the rock still hits him. Let's see what he does here. Or, oh no, it looks like maybe the rock was a distraction. There's like so many elements. Sukuna is probably thinking about diff different scenarios and stuff. Like I'm mentioning it right now. Because Yuji, after he throws the rocks, he rushed, rushes at Sukuna. Hits him with a drop kick wrestling move very cool let's see in total oh no 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 i don't think yuji leaped i think total just yeah i think total just teleported yuji right away and then yuji already got ready in position to hit asukuna with a drop kick yeah because he threw the rock i guess as a distraction for sukuna so sukuna could be distracted for a few seconds like boom and then yuji appeared okay Okay, this is a really good battle. I, I'm really happy that Gege brought Toto into the midst, midst of this and that Toto is actually useful uh, and that his Boogie Woogie did not truly die. It's not revised. Okay, so he hits Sukuna. Sukuna grabs Yuji's face and he has this smile on his face. So Sukuna is really enjoying this battle, which is a scary thing to think about because when you fight Sukuna, you do not want Sukuna to be enjoying the battle because then he's going to start going all out like like even worse okay so we have toto let's see what toto does <laughs> toto just spamming boogie woogie which is fine he switches yuji's position did he switch yuji's position again okay so kuna grabs yuji's face it's about to throw him toto sees this uses boogie woogie okay he's he did switch it doesn't look like no, he did switch his position because he um Sukuna is no longer grabbing uh Yuji in the panel. And then Yuji punches him on the ribs. And then Sukuna let me see what Sukuna's doing. Sukuna he he gets hit in the rib. Sukuna tries to guard against it. And then there's this awesome panel with Toto, Yuji, and Sukuna on page what page is this? Page twelve, the very top of it. And they're just all like in a circle together, like, and then you see the vibrations on the floor and stuff. This is awesome. If you can freely adjust the maximum and minimum number of swaps per tap, then it's practically impossible to get used to Boogie Woogie. But there is just one point where I can accurately read the timing of the shifting positions. Oh my goodness. No, don't, don't have Sukuna adapt to the Boogie Woogie. Now he's talking about, yeah, there, there's one point where I, I think I got it. Okay, so Yuji sends Sukuna flying through a pillar, which is hilarious. Okay. Oh, I think Sukuna threw some slashes at, at Yuji. Yeah, because then where Yuji was like, it's just like a, a lot of blast radius. Okay. And that point is now when the boy is at maximum concentration. Okay, so the single point is when, okay. Toto is, is concentrating the most. He'll faint without swapping if he taps the instrument. He'll faint without swapping if he taps the instrument. That's when I strike. He, But he's so heavily focused on Toto that he doesn't realize... He, you still got to worry about Yuji in this. And Yuji... Yeah. I keep forgetting Yuji. One of his eyes is gone. His right eye. Okay, so Yuji reinforced... Was it both his... No, one of his, his right fists. I'm trying to see if it's both hands to reinforce with Curse Energy. No, it's just his right fist. And then in page 14, all the way in the bottom, that panel, there's just like, like some aura coming through and stuff. Okay. Oh, one of the crows, Mei Mei's crows is here. Changing positions with one of that woman's crows. I misread the situation. <laughs> I thought all the crows were gone. Okay. Sukuna, let's see what Sukuna does now. Boom, Boogie Woogie gets activated. Oh, Sukuna kills the crow. We have Yuji with the um, Curse Energy Fist reinforced. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's going to happen now. 
this is a really i think i'm gonna use this as the thumbnail the panel on page 16 and 17 that big page panel this is really good really good stuff i never really um comment too much about gege's art but gege's art is really good i really enjoy his art everything just looks it, i'm just like the symmetry of how he draws the characters and stuff like that it, it's great and when this gets animated oh man jujutsu kaisen uh it's already like very jujutsu kaisen to tell you the truth let me see. i think it was in the guinness world record for something Jujutsu Kaisen will be registered in Guinness Book of World Records 2025 as most popular in-demand anime in the world. That's how popular this series is. The manga is really popular. The anime is really popular. Um, you could say that Jujutsu Kaisen is like this generation's Dragon Ball, basically. Yes, I could say that statement. Like, it's that good. It's it's just great. And it definitely resonates with a lot of fans like myself and many others out there. And I just enjoy this series because it's not just your simple friendship power up or anything like no, it's like literally strategy and skills it needed to win these battles. Or or sometimes it's the numbers game, like if Yuji is fighting with if, if it's Yuji, Megumi, and Nobara are all fighting together against an enemy, the likely chance they're gonna win is high. Okay. Okay, there was no swap. Okay, so Sukuna <laughs> So Toto did not swap. So Sukuna got tricked. A trick within a trick within a trick. Now Toto's IQ is it, it's up there. Okay, he gets hit with a black flash. So Yuji, I said before, you know, he's awakened. So you Yuji could spam black flash like Sukuna. Please tell me Sukuna at least is gonna go on one knee or something after getting hit. Like this guy has been taking repeated damage for a long time now. Uh, he's yeah, yeah yeah okay he took that repeated damage okay he's bleeding deeply now oh crap oh yuji's like grabbing his his chest like try to rip 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 it oh crap oh crap sukuna just is doing a sign so he's gonna activate a technique sukuna is highly efficient with curse energy so even with curse energy reduced to Yuta Okotsu level. They're making it seem like Yuta's curse energy is some little thing. Like, Yuta is one of the characters in this series with the most amount of curse energy. And even in Sukuna right now has that amount of curse energy. Like, Yuta could be... Yuta is a character that could be spamming stuff, curse techniques as well. And we know that Sukuna... Let's say Yuta's curse energy is at a... Let's use the number, the scale of 1 through... Let's say 1 through 20. Let's say Yuta's is at a 12 and Sukuna's is at a 20 at 100%. That 12 curse energy, that's still a lot. Okay, it's possible for him to open a domain countless times as long as he restored the burnt out curse technique. And we know we've seen Gojo reverse curse technique and being burnt out and still restoring his stuff. Domain expansion. Then Sukuna saw... A ghost of immense strength who he had buried with his own hands. All right. And the ghost they're talking about is a panel of Gojo. So I can see why Gojo is trending now. Do I think this is Gojo? No. You know what's interesting? Okay. There's no way this is this, It can't be Gojo. Gojo was cut in half. He was, we saw the afterlife thing, like, no, like, no. And then the thing is, it is it, can, it can't be Kenjaku because Kenjaku was killed by Yuta. Unless it's, Kenjaku was on some Orochimaru stuff and in some way, somehow had his consciousness uploaded on a curse or something, like it, as a backup plan if he dies or something. And then this is Kenjaku that took over Gojo's body. But the other thing is, I really thought that Gojo's body was retrieved. Or maybe I was wrong. Was Gojo's body ever retrieved? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I like how it says, Dan Sukuna saw a ghost of immense strength who he had buried with his own hands. A ghost of immense strength. You know, because Sukuna did acknowledge Gojo. 
I'm trying to think. Okay. This could be an illusion of Gojo. Was there some was there a sorcerer that could do the illusions? I don't I don't it it could okay. It could be an illusion of Gojo. It could be Kenjaku, because Kenjaku maybe some way somehow found a way to clone him not clone himself but upload his memories or something to a curse or, or, or another body and then it, that body activated when he died or something maybe kenjaku's on some rochimaru stuff maybe that this gojo will do like this and then it will be stitchings and stuff who, who knows however you know what i'm gonna go with this is a curse technique and it's an illusion to distract sukuna for a few now if gege brings gojo back to life that would definitely take a lot, a lot away from Gojo's stuff. A lot. Like, that That will actually ruin the fight that he had with Sukuna, in my personal opinion. Let me see uh, Gojo's trending. Okay. Gojo was trending, but now I'm not seeing really anything. Oh no, Gojo was trending because of a Megan Thee Stallion uh, concert thing. I thought Gojo was trending because of the chapter. <laughs> why am I, why am I getting trolled? Okay, my hair. Uh, I said my hair. Jujutsu Kaisen two seventy. I just want to see what the fan base what is saying about the chapter. I really enjoy this chapter though. Jujutsu Kaisen. If you want to know my rating for this chapter after the one, the reveal of this Ghost Gojo. Uh, to the teamwork between Yuji and Toto. I'm actually... Dude, that was a, that's a big reveal. I still don't think Gojo's alive, though. Um, the panels and stuff, everything was great. I really had no complaints about the chapter. I like the pacing of it as well. Um, I'm going to give this chapter... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's... I only give some chapters, cer certain chapters a 10. Like, the Chozo chapter last week, that's a 10 out of 10. Like, it has to move me a lot. But this chapter, there wasn't really anything uh, wrong with the chapter. Here we go. Sukuna wonders if you took copy... Oh, no. Oh, wait, this is the raw stuff. Mistranslations, like, this is why I don't read raws of spoilers or anything. I just wait for the official things because there's always mistranslations when the fans translate. Somebody said... We prophesized this. We kept telling everyone that it was going to happen. They doubted us, but we never gave up. Welcome back, Satoru Gojo. The six eyes that go. Once again, I think this is a curse technique, and it's just an illusion. I hope I'm right, though. If if Gojo is actually back, I'm not going to cry about it, though. Gojo is in my top five favorite characters. He's not number one. He's not number two. He's not number three. Uh, I think I, I, I mentioned my top five before of my favorite characters. You know, let me think real real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a quick list. It's Yuji number one, number two Megumi, number three Choso, number four Nobara, number five Gojo. Actually, no, Gojo might not be my top five because it's Yuji, Megumi, Choso, Nobara. I really like Maki a lot. So let's say number five Maki, uh, number six Gojo. I think that's I think that's a good order. By the way, since people are happy about let's call him Ghost Gojo coming back, um, we need Nobara. We need the status of Nobara. There's still a little small percent that she will come back. Gege, don't do us dirty. Do not kill Nobara. Even Yuji came back from death. If this is actually Gojo, the actual Gojo, and some way somehow he came back to life. <laughs> Nobara has to come back. Nobara definitely has to come back. Uh, somebody said, also chapter 260 was amazing. I'm 90% sure it was a delayed UV. This might be the key to help bring back Megumi. Uh, also, what the F is that instrument? Gege is just something different. He talked about <laughs> Toto's thing. Uh, okay. Okay. I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to see if there's any like good commentary. People are just hype about Gojo coming back. Still, I still don't think that's the actual Gojo. We just gotta wait to see 
uh for the next chapter if we get a chapter next week because sometimes Gege does take a one week break which i'm completely fine with because mangakas go through crazy deadlines and they're literally killing themselves like their health just to bring us this great content so yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and remember to have a great day peace